Why is it that some people are able to produce absolutely amazing results when they're under pressure and others of us just buckle? We fill with stress, anxiety, overwhelm, thoughts of I'm too stupid or I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy, playing in our heads. We get depressed and we give up. That's what we're gonna to talk today about in this video. So my name is Elon Ferdman. I'm a speaker, mentor, and coach. I run a company called Satori Prime and we've been lucky enough to train tens of thousands of people on how to produce amazing results in their life with effortless ease, with grace and magic versus hustle and grind, hustle and grind. So if you're in the hustle and grind camp, this video is probably not for you. If you're looking to create incredible results in your life with effortless ease, then take a listen. You ever notice that life and I don't care what area, you could talk about money, you could talk about relationships, you can even talk about your well-being, is never on this path all the time. You are never riding high on the wave all the time. Life, and I don't care who it is, everyone's life goes like this, up, down, up, down. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad. Sometimes you're making a ton of money, sometimes you're making less than a ton of money. Sometimes your health is really good, sometimes your health is not so good, right? And everywhere in between. Now, what I find to be very, very interesting is how human beings operate in that downtime. It's amazing, like, we know that it happens, we know that life goes like this, and yet somehow, every time that we go like this, and we stay in this area, we go into freak out mode. Now, why is that? That is because you have core beliefs, you have core programs, that have been a part of you since the time you were a wee little baby. By the time you were five, six, seven years old, many of these programs are there. And when you're riding high, none of those things matter. It's really easy to be happy when things are going your way. It's a whole other thing when things aren't quite going your way. When thoughts like, my life shouldn't be like this, or I should be past this, or I can't believe this is happening to me right now. It is those moments where stress and anxiety overwhelm us. And yet some people have trained themselves on how to be in that place with surrender, acceptance, allowing for it to be. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of Chinese finger traps, but this is what I do know. Chinese finger traps are those toys that you used to put your finger in as a kid and you used to pull out, and the more you used to pull your fingers apart, the more your fingers would actually get stuck. In fact, the way to get out was to gently ease into there and then just kind of release yourself like that. And so when we're, when the wave that we've been riding crashes, and we, it's not like you go from one top of the wave to another top of the wave, right? The wave actually has to crash. It has to go towards the shore and then slowly come back. Now, when it first happens, you're still okay, but it's that lull that gets us. It's that place of just nothingness where you're working really hard and you're putting in all this effort and life doesn't seem to be rewarding you and we freak out. So just like a caterpillar, Go, going in through that process to become a butterfly, there's that in-between stage where someone just informed me, I believe the cells are called imaginal cells, where the caterpillar literally disappears into nothingness. And there's nothing, if you cut the chrysalis, there's literally nothing in there other than these imaginal cells. And these cells can become anything. They're an infinite world of possibility. And just like every other time that you've been in your life and you've gotten into that plateau area, you have always risen and excelled past where you were before. But it's very difficult to remember that because the feeling in the moment is very, very difficult. We want out, get me out of this. And the only way out is through. And what I mean by that is allowing yourself to feel fear, allow yourself to feel angry or frustrated. The more you resist these feelings, the more you think that you should be feeling some other way, the more you stay trapped. Now there are some amazing tools and practices that one could take on in these moments to allow yourself to jump onto that next wave 
rather than have to wait there. Because I know it's uncomfortable. I get it. I've been there. And if you're interested in finding out more about how to do that, then the first thing you should do is definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel as we share many, many distinctions and tools and practices that you can put in, implement in your life right now to create that kind of impact. The second thing that I would recommend you do is you check out our collective. It's a group of like-minded individuals just like yourself who are looking to get to the next level. And if that's you, then you can click down here somewhere on this video or here or up here somewhere on this video right now uh, and click the link and we will take you to a page where you can learn more about the collective. In this collective, we share these kind of tools so that when you're feeling stuck in life, you can actually get out of that effortlessly, easily. Get back into your flow state. Feel that clear power instead of stress and anxiety. Again, subscribe to this channel, like and comment, let me know what you thought about this. And if you're ready to take your life on, then again, click down here or up here right now and check out how you can join the collective for free for the next 14 days. Look forward to seeing you again. Have an amazing day, my friend.